Scott Central made a pretty deep run in the playoffs last year. Uh, we've got them predicted eight and two. They're going to go play some talent from down south uh, on October fourth against Bay Springs. Now, Scott Central again kind of ran into the buzzsaw late last season trying to make another deep run this year. I don't think that they're going to be your state championship level team. I think it's going to be fun to watch, though. Yeah, they've definitely got some some talent on that team, definitely have an opportunity to make a run. Don't know if they can make a deep enough run, but they have a lot of starters returning, which yeah, they- is always a plus. You lose your lead rusher, and uh, Taekwon Bounds, but otherwise... Pretty much got the rest of the stable back. Yeah, you got just about your entire defense coming back. You lose your interception leader, but otherwise, you're sitting really pretty. And the schedule doesn't look just horrible. I mean, you've got Leak County and Leak Central, Tyler Town, Morton. Uh, they're going to play seminary, so I-, I think that you can really see them... Uh, kind of repeat, kind of just hit copy and paste on last year. They lose in the playoffs, but have a great regular season. Everybody's pretty satisfied, and everybody goes home happy with some juice boxes and some orange slices. Be sure to listen for the name Marquavius Bradford. 13 tackles last year. He'll be a senior this year, middle linebacker. Dude could – you need someone to stop a play? Don't send it towards him. 13 tackles or 13 TFLs? 13 tackles a game, excuse me. Oh, 13 me. tackles a game. A game. Okay, I was going to say, 13 tackles over the season. I think you could a roll game. me back out onto the no, a game. Larry B. Mitchell Memorial Stadium field, and I you're, could get 13 tackles in a season. You're, you're sitting at about 130 tackles Yeah, 13 a, a game. 13 a game something. 13 a game is something. Okay. Uh, 